Noah Lyles versus Christian Coleman. This is the race that we have all been waiting for. It is the 2024 United States Indoor Championships in the men's 60 meter dash. Now, Christian Coleman, he really needs no introduction for this event, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because he is the world record holder, he's the world indoor champion from 2018, and he also owns all of the top four fastest times ever run in this event. Coleman's ability to achieve fast times stems from his insane starts, where he typically gaps the field with an explosive 20 or 30 meters, but he also gets to top speed very fast, which is a deadly tool in the 60 meters. Now, the primary rival against Christian Coleman is Noah Lyles, the 2023 world champion in the 100 and the 200 meters. Now, for 2024, Lyles has really been on fire, going undefeated in the 60 and also dropping his season's best to 6.44, which ties him at number 11 all time. There is a reason why this showdown is so exciting, as both men always bring their A-games to championship moments, and the 2024 national championships was certainly no exception. Now, building up to this final in the semi-finals, Coleman showcased his classic abilities, running the fastest time in the entire field with a new season's best of 6.49. However, very close behind was Noah Lyles, as he ran another solid time of 6.52 seconds. And I also want to take this opportunity to point out the third fastest qualifier in Ronnie Baker, who ran a solid time of 6.53. And it's important to remember, the Baker is the third fastest 60 athlete of all time, running a PB of 6.40, when Coleman broke the world record. It has been a very exciting year in the men's 60 meter dash, with new faces emerging breaking 6.5, but also with Noah Lyles and Christian Coleman inevitably reaching this showdown in the United States Finals. So now, with a very quick final assembled and all of the athletes ready to race, who will win this men's 60 meter finals in the national championships? After a fair start, Christian Coleman, again, got out like a rocket. And at this point, you might be thinking, he has to win. He's got at least a step and a half on Noah Lyles, and he closes like a train in the 60. However, Noah Lyles just achieved something very special, as he closed this final 30 faster than I have ever seen in the past. And he came away with a victory in 6.43 seconds, Bro. improving on his own personal record, and he took down Christian Coleman by 1 100th of a second. This is a very special moment. Noah Lyles has been gunning for Christian Coleman in the 60 meters for years. In fact, it might be close to a decade at this point. And Christian Coleman really has been the standard when it comes to the 60. But finally, with an epic close and a solid lean also, Noah Lyles just came out on top in this year's nationals. I really can't believe that Noah Lyles made up this deficit. In fact, over the first half, I thought to myself, this is exactly what many people thought would happen. Christian Coleman just gets out way too fast, and Noah Lyles, even though he can close very fast, just doesn't have the speed to catch him. But today, the script was finally flipped. And this really does mean something pretty crazy for Noah Lyles, because catching Coleman in this event has to be one of the biggest goals that Noah Lyles has had in his career. With this single win, I firmly believe that Noah Lyles just figured out a way to completely separate from the field after 60 meters. I honestly can't imagine anyone else, at least at this point in 2024, matching Noah Lyles in the 100 or even the 200 meters. He just finally has his opening 60 meters figured out. Now finishing in third was in fact Ronnie Baker in 6.53, and finishing in fourth was Emmanuel Wells in 6.56. It's actually pretty crazy to see this entire field breaking 6.6. .6. However, this 6.43 was quite the shocking moment to see, and Noah Lyles and Christian Coleman together simply have to be the top two favorites moving into this year's World Indoor Championships. And I actually think that Christian Coleman does have some solid momentum here. If you look at his season's progression, he has been dropping times like crazy, starting his season at 6.51 and consistently getting down to the mid 6.4s. But if he continues to impress with his start and he can get that closing speed down, I think he and Noah Lyles could could get close to 6.40, which would really be some next level sprinting because that would place them in the top three all time. 
The sprinting scene is really starting to blossom in 2024. Not only did Noah Lyles just run another fast time today, but we also saw Letsele Tabogo from Botswana break the 300 meter world record. And given what happened last year in the London Diamond League meeting, where even against the close of Noah Lyles, Tabogo was actually closing over the final 50 meters or so. So now it looks as though we have many new storylines developing in men's sprinting, with Christian Coleman and Noah Lyles now clashing in the 60 meters and the 100, with Tabogo and Lyles now potentially potentially clashing in multiple 200s, I think the 2024 Olympics is looking stacked with talent, and again, Noah Lyles is leading the way in the charge. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.